what is up guys in this video I'll show you how to download and install uh, Android 5 Lollipop on your Sony Xperia ZR uh, by the way this is the official update so before I begin let me just tell you that there are two methods you can use to download this update uh, first is on the phone itself go to the update center go to system updates and from here you can download it but I don't really recommend doing this because if you do an OTA upgrade there are many problems uh, that, that you will encounter like the Wi-Fi is not, isn't turning on, the battery life isn't so great so yeah get to a computer and do the upgrade and I'm gonna show you how to do it from the computer so let's just keep this aside for now and on a Windows based computer uh, go to the Sony support website I'm gonna put a link put this link in the video so you guys can download a software called PC Companion so once you download and install this I already have it launched here so once you launch the software uh, you get a micro USB cable uh, connect it to your computer let me just show you it is connected here and connect it to your phone now once you do this PC Companion will automatically recognize your phone you can see it's already showing Sony Xperia ZR and it already, it's, it's already showing new tablet phone software is available so I'm gonna click remind me later by the way you can take a backup of your phone from here use this uh, utility called backup and restore so yeah you can use this to create a backup of your phone but since I've already done that I'm gonna click, click back and we're gonna go directly and install the update so click here and we're gonna click update while the phone is still plugged in you can read these so it's gonna take around 30 minutes so we're gonna go and update it now accept and no I would not like my phone to be disconnected and now we wait for it to download uh, this might take a while depending on your internet connection by the way if you need to use your phone you can disconnect it it is currently connected here and now we wait right guys so we're almost done I mean the download is almost done after that it's gonna install the pro install the software on the phone so 10 seconds to go let's see what instructions it gives alright for a successful update please follow the following instructions uh, recommendations use the original USB cable that came with the device uh, check connect your device directly to the computer without any USB hubs check don't disconnect your device during the update progress I'm not gonna do that don't connect or disconnect any other USB devices during the update progress don't transfer any files between the computer or other USB devices alright don't use or move your device during the update progress 
close any programs on your computer that might that you're currently not using. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna close Steam. Ah, I think that's about it. So we're gonna click continue. So it's currently preparing the phone and the phone just restarted it's rebooting so yeah it's currently showing that the update has begun here is the phone so you guys can see probably shouldn't move it. It's written over here. So yeah, we're just gonna sit and wait until it's done. Then we're gonna boot up the phone. And yeah, by the way, after the update is done, it should look very similar to the Xperia uh, Z3. I mean, the UI will be pretty similar to this, uh, including the lock screen. So yeah. Right guys, so I think we're done on the PC part. Uh, it is currently telling me to disconnect the device and turn it on and that it'll take some time for the phone to start up for the first time and do not remove the battery during the startup it can take several minutes uh, alright guys so I'm gonna disconnect the phone from my computer right now you can see it's still connected I haven't disconnected it so I'm gonna disconnect and yeah we're gonna see how it starts up for the first time so the moment of truth guys, we're gonna turn it on for the first time after the update. So here we go. Yeah, I can see the difference already. Uh, I didn't used to see this Xperia down here before. And yeah, now we're gonna wait for the phone to boot up. powered by Android yeah there's a similar sound to the Xperia Z3 and yeah by the way this is first time startup so it's gonna take some time and the phone will be extremely slow once we are booted up but that's completely normal so let's just hope the update has completed successfully and yeah okay so Android is upgrading check it out you guys can see 272 applications oh my god so I'm gonna let this thing run let it do whatever it's doing And yeah, I can fully feel the phone has heated up quite a bit. Yeah, but that's normal.
nothing to worry about we're at 261 of 272 uh, almost there Finishing boot. There we go. We're on the desktop, and yeah, it does. It does look very similar to Xperia Z3, and it's updating the NFC firmware. Again, don't panic. Just wait. Everything will be fine. There we go. And yeah, like I said, it does look very similar to Xperia Z3. So yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the phone. Gonna explore a bit. Wow, it's pretty smooth. Nothing seems to be wrong at the moment. And Wi-Fi is working. I am connected to the internet. Uh, let's just fire up Chrome. And no, I like my tab button over there. And I'll set up set it up later. So yeah, internet seems to be working fine. And it is connected through Wi-Fi. Like I said, if you do an OTA upgrade, something will go wrong and your Wi-Fi won't work so get to a PC and perform the update and I think all my applications are there and I did factory reset this phone before I did the update so yep and everything seems to be working fine and there's nothing I did remove the SD card before I performed an upgrade Walkman music player let's go ahead see the bar oh my god my fingers are pretty wet and there we go brightness settings bluetooth wi-fi flashlight airplane mode auto rotate all that good stuff your user accounts uh, let's just go to settings yeah the brand new ui of the lollipop operating system and again uh, very similar to Xperia Z3 and both of these phones are identical let's go just check the Android version you can see here 5.0.2 and this is the Xperia ZR and yeah the phone seems to have cooled down now it isn't, it, it isn't hot anymore it's just warm So yeah, I think everything is working fine now. We have sound. Let's check out themes. Mm, let's set it to purple. Definitely not bad not bad at all let's launch the camera no I don't want my photos to be geotagged just snap a photo here run without flash
Alright, I guess everything is working fine. And I do feel the icons are a bit bigger than before. Let's just go to display settings first. Mobile Bravia Engine 2. Font size small. Let's just check how much uh, RAM is in use. So currently about 1.4 gigabytes of RAM is free and apps are using about 308 megabytes of RAM and system about 115. So yeah, pretty well optimized I'd say. So but anyways, uh I'm going to give a uh, I'm going to give this phone a reboot because since this is the first boot after the update. So yeah, after this video I'm going to do another one demonstrating the Android 5 on Sony Xperia ZR. So yeah guys, thank you for watching and if you have any questions just let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys in the comment section. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more. See you guys later.